Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. I wanted to bring you guys a video on some tips on a class setup for a chem strike and uh, at least show you guys my uh, class. So I'm going to dig in here and go to my first character here and we'll take a look at my chem class setup here. Um, all the other ones are just kind of random ones, uh, but this one is one for the chem strikes and the, probably the most notable thing that you need to really have under control is the perks and the strike um, package for specialist. Um, and this is just one way to do it. Obviously, there's a million ways to do it. There's people that get it with assault. There's people that get it with support. This is my um, preferred method with um, the perks as of right now. Now, gun-wise, it doesn't really matter what you use, in my opinion. All the guns in the game seem pretty powerful and pretty uh, pretty good. Um, I use a suppressor on my class because if you are in the enemy spawn at all and you don't have a suppressor, you're pretty much giving yourself away and, and they will come back and, and uh, use a minimap to kill you. So part of the reason why I use a suppressor if I'm using this um, or if I'm going for a chem strike, also I end up using the foregrip. Now there's lots of other choices. If you like to have a sight, then I suggest maybe using a sight, uh, a red dot or whatever it might be. I personally... Um, I really like to have control and you can see the accuracy increase when you use the foregrip. It is pretty impressive. I don't use armor piercing. I tried using it at first but it didn't really seem like it did much. Extended mag would be another one that I could potentially use but since I'm using scavenger um, it kind of makes up for it. So let's get into the perk part and then we'll get into the strike package. The perk setup is probably uh, probably the most important because these are the ones you want to start off with off the, just right out of the gate. You don't want to have to get kills to get these things. Uh, the first one that I end up using is off the grid. Um, having it undetectable by the minimap is, is really, really uh, quite an advantage. Um, especially where the, the spawns are in this game. Again, if you go too deep in their spawn, and I haven't mastered the spawns in this game yet, uh, you know, I'll, I'll end up getting like turned on and killed really really easy or I'll kill somebody and they'll spawn right behind me so um, having off the grid is nice for the moments when they do have the the stats or whatever those are called the um, the sack on sorry and the other two that are really really essential for myself at least for sound horn purposes is dead silence and amplify um, if you don't know the spawns very well and you have a good headset definitely use dead silence definitely use the amplify because it will give you a heads up when enemies are spawning near you. Uh, you can kill somebody in your in their spawn, kind of crouch around a corner, and if you hear something, you can you can kind of feel out where the enemy is. Uh, so being silent so they can't hear you, and then amplifying their noise is just a, a crazy winning combination. It's crazy that these are only two points each. I could definitely see them being three points each, and they'd still be, be used quite a bit. Scavenger is also another one for myself that I found pretty important. Uh, I always was having this problem where I would kill a handful of people, and then I was trying to find guns on the ground I would find um, an MSBS three round burst gun and I'm using an automatic weapon and all of a sudden I, I don't pay attention and then I'll, I, uh, I hold down the trigger or something like that and then it burst fires and I end up dying so I just decided for myself scavenger is important right out right out the gate uh, and also hardline hardline is probably the other one that's an absolute so if you're gonna switch out any of these ones I would switch out scavenger and I'd switch out off the grid um, but I would definitely start with hardline Definitely do amplify and definitely do dead silence. Now a lot of people use quick draw. A lot of people use stalker. Those are great ones as well. Another one that people use is focus. Those are three really good op uh, options instead of the ones that I just showed you guys. Um, but with that, let's go ahead and jump into the strike package with specialist. And you can see the ones that I have selected here. So the first one that I chose to get was stalker because I do like the idea of moving faster while you're aiming. It does seem to give you a competitive advantage in one-on-one -on -one situations and gunfights. Uh, next up, you I have Slide of Hand because Slide of Hand is another one where where if you're deep and you're, you've got six kills now with Hardline, um, you don't want to be killed like a couple kills in because you can't reload fast enough. Uh, so definitely a, a nice one as well, especially since you have um, Scavenger already. You, you, slide of hand is, is, a, is a great option and the last one I have is a 3.1 for quick draw and again faster aiming um, quick draw and slide of hand could maybe go I mean it doesn't matter necessarily the order that you do these ones but I, all three of those those perks are, are really really essential for myself now the, the last four that you have as a bonus these are the ones that I use this is where it can get tricky because you can really choose any of them uh, I mean any of them across the board for any of the strike packages, but these are the ones that I'm using that I found um, pretty helpful. One, Marathon. Since you already have Dead Silence on and uh, Stalker and Quick Draw, I mean Marathon just gives you that much more of an edge to be able to uh, maneuver quickly. 
Uh, also, SITREP, I've found it so SITREP is actually quite useful to use because there's these situations where people are camping up inside of a building with IEDs. It's gotten ridiculous, man. I can never see the IEDs on the ground. They're just not like Claymores looked a lot more recognizable than the IEDs did do, at least for me. I'm just not used to them. So SITREP um, allows me to see those things so I don't uh, end up killing myself like one off of a, a chem strike because of a, a camper in a building. Resistance is also another one that you can use. This one obviously is nice because it regenerates your health faster. And the last one is one that's also really, really helpful. And you can probably use this one earlier if you guys would want. Um, and that's ping. Because ping basically makes it so when you shoot the enemy, it does a little ping, like circular motion around where you kill that person. And any other enemies um, around them will show up on your mini map. So it really makes it nice if they're is multiple enemies near you and you kill one enemy and then you rush out and you're going to grab their scavenger pack or whatever it might be and all of a sudden you get killed because you didn't see that there was actually two people that spawned and you picked off only one ping would be a great option to have um, so I, again you could do these in any order there's other ones I would also recommend using uh, for this dead eye was one that you could use but honestly you don't really need it um, I, I mean dead, dead eye can be nice because if you kill more than five people uh, in a row, it really gives you, I think from what I saw in t Mart's video, if you, if you kill more than five people in a row, it gives you every other bullet will have a 50% chance of doing, uh, like stopping power damage. So it could be really powerful, um, especially with the mix of a silencer, but it, it uses five points and those five points can be spread across and lots of other things. Gambler can be an, also, um, a perk that you can use. I did a video on this one previously and gambler could be used, uh, to basically just give you a free perk. Uh, I don't know how it works. So when you unlock the, uh, the specialist, if it just drops in and, and gives you it to you later. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm looking through, some of these other ones to make sure I didn't miss any of them that wiretap is also another one I didn't think or I didn't use wiretap previously I did and I just changed it up for ICU and sit rep wiretap was a good one to use um, it lets you see other people's like satcoms or whatever and enemy satcoms um, can be useful if if you really really need it but honestly the compensation for um, the sound whoring is is it kind of wipes off wiretap for myself and you have the the ping thing so that's always nice um, but those are kind of the, the perks that I have set up personally. Uh, leave a comment. I know some of you guys might have agility set up. Maybe ready up. I, I realize ready up is not the one for me. Uh, moves ready weapon fast after sprinting, but it's not ADSing. And I only I only usually ADS. That's why I get killed maybe close range with when people have that one selected. But thank you to you guys for leaving the comments in my video that I posted about that. Because I didn't know what ready up did. I thought it was moving or uh, after sprinting it was adsing but it's not aiming down sight um and that's pretty much it i think the only other one that i didn't probably use that i should have is focus focus is another one that was really good because it reduces flinch and so if you have a combination of focus uh with uh quick draw and stalker and marathon i mean really like you you aim down sight faster you shoot them if they hit you you um with focus, you, you're going to be on point a, a bit more, and again, it will give you like a definitely a competitive advantage. So I would definitely, I mean, I could probably take focus over sit rep or focus over um, ICU. I was kind of mixing it up here, but that's uh, but that's kind of the the chem strike package that I had. Now I'm not the expert again. I'm just somebody showing you guys my setup, and this is what I it's worked for myself. But leave a comment. Let me know if you guys have some better perk advice or anything like that. Um, or even better, if you have any videos, um, hit me up on Twitter and send me the videos. I'm always interested in seeing what you guys have to say. And I uh, appreciate you guys for watching the video. Hopefully, um, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the sub subscribe button. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys for some more Ghost videos. I'm having fun playing the game, though. And I'll have another uh, KM Strike uh, video for you guys soon if I haven't posted it um, already. I have two of them, at least as of right now. And I don't know. Maybe I'll keep trying to get some more. Um, anyway, have a good one, guys.